Hey lads, Jack Scanning here. So where most smartphone brands are setting up to launch their next smartphones and Vivo has done it already, OnePlus also getting up to launch its next flagship, the OnePlus 11 Pro. We have already seen the design of the OnePlus 11 Pro or I can just say the OnePlus 11 as the OnePlus is likely to be dropped the word Pro. I have already covered a video on its design so check that out too. But in this video, we are going to take a look at the top reasons why you should wait for the OnePlus 11 or 11 Pro. The OnePlus 11 will look highly premium than any of the flagship phones introduced by the brand thanks to its ceramic build with a metal frame. By ceramic, the teapot probably came into your mind but the ceramic quality I am talking about here is more durable than gloss and highly scratch resistant. In the past, some smartphone brands also launched the phone with ceramic bodies like Xiaomi Mi Mix, LG Signature Edition and Galaxy S10. So the OnePlus will debut with Qualcomm's most powerful Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, meaning we will see a huge jump in its performance compared to its predecessor. This newly launched Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 offers a 35% CPU boost compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. And recently, the Lenovo Group General Manager shared the N22 benchmark of the Moto X40, which will be also equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, showing it achieve higher scores than its rival Dimensity 9200. Adding more, the OnePlus 11 is said to have a whopping 16GB RAM. This is as much as you can get with the gaming-based ASUS ROG 6. So you can guess the OnePlus 11 can make you fly. Now, if we look at the OnePlus 10 Pro, cameras were not its standard feature, which boasted a 48MP main, 50MP ultra-wide, 8MP telephoto and 32MP selfie sensor. However, things will change with the OnePlus 11. The upcoming handset tipped to offer a 50MP primary, 48MP ultra-wide and a 32MP telephoto sensor, while for the selfies, it is likely to sport a 16MP. Right now, not a single sample photo is out yet to tell you how much it is improved, but we are pretty hopeful it will come with the better results than its predecessor. Moreover, the new chipset is smarter enough to efficiently recognize the objects and backgrounds in both images and videos so can apply different processes accordingly. Next, with OnePlus 11, mobile gamers going to experience a whole new level even better than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So first of all, the Adreno GPU equipped chipset offers the 25% graphic improvements. But what's more amazing, you will be able to experience more realistic graphics thanks to its ray tracing capabilities, which is previously available to PC and gaming consoles users only. The ray tracing shows real life like shadows and light behaviors making the graphics a lot better. The OnePlus 11 is tipped to take advantage of the latest UFS 4.0 storage. And if we compare it with the OnePlus 10 Pro UFS 3.1 storage, the newest 4.0 storage chip is twice as faster as the 3.1. So such a fast reading and writing speed will benefit you for faster mobile boot-ups and app loadings. Though the OnePlus 11 will come with the same 5000mAh of battery capacity as its predecessor, but it will offer a significantly improved battery backup because of its highly energy efficient internals. The latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is 40% more power efficient than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Also, the ray tracing enabled GPU promises up to 45% power efficiency. So with this hardware, it may not surpass the battery king iPhone 14 Pro Max, but surely the highly energy efficient chipset enabled the OnePlus 11 to shrink the gap. Other features include the OnePlus 11 with Alert Slider which is a fan favorite feature, 100W fast charging speed and Android 13 out of the box. The OnePlus 11 will support the same display the company used on the last few generation of its flagship phones, a curved 6.7 inches Quad HD LTPO display with a 120Hz refresh rate. And there is nothing wrong with it as it is already a high quality display. OnePlus is expected to launch its next flagship sometime during the next month. So, what do you think about the OnePlus 11 or the OnePlus 11 Pro? Share your thoughts below in the comment section. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell button. See you in the next video. Until then, take care.